Well, we've got a great show lined up, Rusty, and Kip is going to come by with one of his neat animals. Aha, uh -huh. let's see who's there. It's Kip. Kip? Well, come on in. We are so Hi, glad Emily. you're here. Hi, <laughs> Kip. Look at boys and girls, the beautiful bird. Tell us about this bird, Kip. This is Cyrano. Cyrano is a green winged macaw. If you guys wave, Cyrano will actually wave back to you. <laughs> oh, sweet. And green winged macaws are the second largest macaw in the entire world. And they are extremely intelligent birds. And we're going to find these animals all throughout the rainforest of South America. And we usually find them in the treetops of South America. And we can see his big wings that he uses to be able to fly. <laughs> and this way he can fly all throughout the treetops trying to find different types of foods these animals eat. Okay. What kind of food does he look for? They look for a wide variety of different foods. We're going to see them eating a lot of fruits, nuts, and seeds, and berries. And even once in a while we'll see them eating insects. Are all macaws the same color? <laughs> uh, no, they come in all different colors. This here is a green winged macaw, and he gets that name because he has green markings on his wings, but sure. they can come in all blues, reds, yellows, greens, all different variety of different colors. How neat. And, and what do the colors do? Are they, do they serve as protection? It can serve a little bit as protection. Uh, we see one is camouflage. We usually don't think of animals with bright colors as having good camouflage, but remember where he lives. He's in the rainforest where we have green trees, we have colorful mm -hmm. fruits and fl uh, flowers. So it actually blends them in really well. <laughs> and it tells other animals to stay away. They have a really strong, powerful beak that they can use to protect themselves and crack open all, all other types of nuts and seeds that they find. And how old is he? Uh, Cyrano right now is about 14 or 15 years old. And his life expectancy? These animals have a very long life expectancy. We can see these living in 60 to all the way up to 80 years old. So they have a very long lifespan. My goodness. They, he can outlive us, children. <laughs> they can. <laughs> yes. Well, he's a beautiful bird. Does, does he do special tricks? Uh, waving is one of his tricks <laughs> that he does. He can also... He can also talk, he can sing. Oh. We can try to see if we can get him to say hello, okay. Okay. but it's kind of up to him. You wanna say hello? Let's we'll see if we give him a peanut. You wanna say hello? Hello. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> hello, <sir. laughs> You want that? <laughs> so they can mimic us people. They like to, if they hear a certain sound they like, they'll like to say it over and over. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he captured that peanut, didn't he, right out of that shell. And you can see he uses that beak to be able to grab open to those nuts and eat whatever's inside. Yes. So it works really well for them to be able to have that tongue and that beak to be able to crack open different foods they love. Well, if he he's, comes from the tropical forest, how does he survive in our cold winters? Uh, he's not going to survive outside here in Nebraska. Sure. It gets far too cold for these guys. Uh, so right now he has a heated area, aviary, where he's going to live. And then when it gets nice outside, he's outside flying around. Oh, do you have to uh, have protection for him then when he's flying outside? Oh, yes. Yeah, they have a big aviary where he's inside where he's not going to have any other predators that might try to get these guys okay. in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah, he's totally safe. Oh, look at that wave. That is so sweet. Did you teach him to do that, or is that just natural? We did teach him to do that. Okay. Uh, kids were waving in schools. Uh, we'd mainly just go to schools and talk to kids about conservation, and kids were waving, and he kind of did it one day, so then we just kind of helped reinforce that. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he likes to do that. And it's easy for him to do. If we look at his toes, they have what we call zygodactyl toes. He has two toes in front, two toes in back, and that allows him to grab onto tree branches. So you guys can see how he's grabbing onto my hand like that. This way he can hang onto a tree branch and he doesn't have to worry at all. And even when he gets ready for takeoff, he can spread those big wings and he can fly off into, all throughout the canopies throughout the rainforest. What would be his flying distance? Uh, quite a ways. Uh, it's going to depend on where they're going to want to go for food sources and things like that. And they can fly up to about 30, 35 miles per hour. So they can go a long distance if they need to be. Okay, okay. Well, the, he is a beautiful bird and we are so... <laughs> Thankful that you brought him to, to show us. He's just a delight. I yes. bet he's fun to have at your refuge. Oh, yeah. Cyrano is great. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Thank you. If you guys want to say bye, he'll wave back to you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks for bringing him. The fun never ends with that Molly and friends. Bye. The fun never ends with that Molly and friends. And we'll be right back. The fun never ends with that Molly and friends. The fun never ends with that Molly and friends.